Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Just keep on watching! Hello mga anak shes, nandito na tayo sa learning task number 1, week 5. So, ang gagawin natin dito, magbubuo tayo ng greetings. In Cambodia, Khmer is the language of the Cambodians. Today, you will learn the basic Khmer greeting by simply answering the following questions below. So, ang gagawin natin dito ay sasagutan lang natin ito and then makakabuo na tayo ng greetings. Okay, so bonus nyo na ito kasi hindi ko pinalitan yung mga given. Dito tayo sa number 1. What is the fifth term of the arithmetic sequence a sub n is equal to 5n plus 1? So, ang gagawin lang naman natin dito is magsasubstitute lang tayo ng 5 dito sa ating formula. So, that is a sub n is equal to 5n plus 1. Palitan natin ng 5 yung n. So, that is a sub 5 is equal to 5 times 5 plus 1. And then, 5 times 5 is equal to 25 plus 1. So, ang fifth term ng sequence is 26. O, oh, diba? Ganun lang siya. Okay, so, kayo nang bahala magsulat kung ano yung sagot na letter dyan. Number 2. What is the next three terms of the Fibonacci sequence 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5? Ang Fibonacci sequence was discovered by Leonardo Fibonacci, kaya siya Fibonacci sequence. So, si Leonardo Fibonacci ay isang talented mathematician of the Middle Ages. Okay? So, ano nga ba itong Fibonacci sequence? So, we have 0... 1, positive 1, 2, 3, 5. Anong napapansin ninyo dito sa sequence? Diba, kapag in natin yung 0 at saka 1, magiging 1. And then, 0 plus 1, magiging 2. And then, 1 plus 2, magiging 3. Diba? And then, 2 plus 3 equals 5. So, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So, ang susunod na dito ay 8. Then, 5 plus 8 is equal to 13. Then, 8 plus 13 is equal to 21. So, the next three terms are 8, 13, and 21. Okay? Number 3, what are the missing numbers in the sequence? Positive 4, ang first term at ang last term ay positive 64. As you can see, malayo yung agwat nila, di ba? So, we can assume that this is a geometric sequence. Kasi kapag arithmetic sequence, dapat malapit lang siya. So, ang given dito, a sub 1 is equal to positive 4. And then, ang a sub 5 natin kasi, so ilan terms ito? Meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, a sub 5, yung pang fifth term ay 64. Ibig sabihin, ang n natin is 5. Sa nanggaling yung 5 kasi n is equal to 5 terms. Okay? Now, by using the formula, that is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Ito yung formula ng geometric sequence. By substitution, that is equal to a sub 5 is equal to, ang first term is 4 times r raised to 5 minus 1. Simplify. Ang a sub 5 natin, that is 64. So, lagay natin dito, 64 equals 4 times r raised to 5 minus 1 equals 4. Okay? Now, ang goal natin is r lang yung matitira. So, para matira yung r dito, i-divide natin both sides by 4. Para makancel ito, and then 64 divided by 4 is equal to 16. So, ang matitira na lang dito is 4. Ngayon, using the concept of logarithm para makuha natin yung ratio, 
mag-isip kayo ng base ni 16 na ang exponent niya is positive 4. Anong number yon? That is 2 raised to 4. Kasi itong 2 raised to 4, ang katumbas niya is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that is 16. Kaya magiging 2 raised to 4 ito is equal to r raised to 4. Okay? So, pareho na sila ng exponent, then we can say that 2 is equal to r or ang ratio natin is positive 2. Ngayon, ang tinatanong, ano yung missing numbers dito sa geometric sequence? Kapag geometric, ang gagawin natin, i-multiply natin yung first term dito sa common ratio. So, that is a sub 2 equals 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Ang third term naman is 8 times 2 equals 16. And then, ang fourth term is 16 times 2 equals 32. So, ang next three terms or yung missing terms dito sa sequence na to is positive 8, positive 16, and 32. Alright? Next, dito naman sa number 4. What is the common ratio of the given sequence? 3, negative 6, 12, negative 24, 48. Paano ulit kumuha ng common ratio? I-divide lang natin yung succeeding term doon sa preceding term. So, mag-start tayo dito. 48 divided by negative 24, that is negative 2. And then, negative 24 divided by 12 is equal to negative 2. 12 divided by negative 6 equals negative 2. And negative 6 divided by 3 equals negative 2. So, ang common ratio natin is negative 2. Alright? Then, dito naman sa number 5, what is the 10th term of the arithmetic sequence? a sub n equals 3n minus 5. Kagaya lang din dito sa number 1 kanina, ang gagawin natin ay substitute lang natin yung 10 dito sa formula. So, that is a sub n equals 3n minus 5, palitan natin ng 10 yung n. So, a sub 10 equals 3 times 10 minus 5. a sub 10 equals 3 times 10 equals 30 minus 5. And 30 minus 5 is equal to 25. So, ang 10th term dito sa formula ng arithmetic sequence is positive 25. Alright? Then, number 6. If a sub 1 or first term is equal to positive 2, ang common difference is negative 2, then what is 12 term? So, ang gagawin natin dito, gamitin natin yung formula ng arithmetic sequence na a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Ano yung given natin? That is a sub 12 yung hinahanap natin equals, ang first term is positive 2 plus ang n is 12 galing dito minus 1 times ang common difference is negative 2. Nasundan? Simplify. a sub 12 equals 2 plus 12 minus 1 is equal to 11 times negative 2 that is equal to negative 22. And then, i-add natin. 2 plus negative 22, magkaiba ng sign, kaya ang gagawin natin is subtract. 22 minus 2 equals 20. Then, copy the sign of the greater number, mas malaki yung 22, ang sign niya is negative, kaya negative 20. So, ang 12th term dito sa sequence na to is negative 20. Okay? Then, dito naman sa number 7, what is the common ratio of the given sequence? 1,000? 500, 250, and 125. So, paano ba ulit kumuha ng common ratio? I-divide lang natin to dito sa preceding term niya. So, 500 divided by 1,000 is equal to 1 half. Kasi divide natin by 500, both numerator and denominator. And then, 250 naman divided by 500 I-divide natin both by 250, that is equal to 1 half then. And then, 125 divided by 250, i-divide natin both numerator and denominator ng 125, so that is 1 half then. So, ang common ratio is positive 
one half. All right. Next, lastly, lastly, what is the eighth term of the sequence? Negative ten, negative eight, negative six, negative four. Ano sa tingin niyo? Geometric sequence ba to or arithmetic? Arithmetic kasi meron siyang common difference na positive 2. Kasi negative 8 minus negative 10 equals positive 2. So, ang first term natin dito ay negative 10. Ang common difference natin is positive 2. And then, ang n natin dito is 8. So, by substitution, a sub 8 is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, that is a sub 8 equals, ang first term natin is negative 10 plus, ang n natin is 8 minus 1 times ang d natin is positive 2. Simplify, negative 10 plus 8 minus 1 is equal to 7 times 2 equals 14. And then, i-add natin, negative 10 plus 14 magkaiba ng sign so i-subtract natin. 14 minus 10 is equal to 4. And ang sign ng mas malaking number is positive. Ibig sabihin positive. So, this is now the 8th term of the sequence. Alright? So, comment nyo nga sa baba yung what is the greetings para malaman ng iba kung tama ba yung nakuha ninyong sagot. Okay? Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please like at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aaral mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!